Right, let's take you live to Mpumalanga now, where we find my colleague Muloko Muloto, who's on the scene uh, where those five trucks were burnt early this morning. Muloko, what are you seeing there on the scene? Hello, Masero, and welcome to the very cold Mpumalanga province. We are seeing here a number of trucks that have been torched. This is right in the middle of the M4, and it's been cordoned off, obviously, for traffic. It looks ugly, Masero. As you can see, this truck here, the, the, the actual truck itself has been bent beyond repair. And uh, there's still fires here, as you possibly can see the smoke as well. And uh, obviously, the people here, the rescuers, are trying to do some mop-up work. And, but I want us to speak to uh, the gentleman who is a truck driver. I just want to quickly move this thing away from this oncoming truck so that it doesn't smash it. I want to speak to the gentleman, Lois Otekeka. He is the truck driver of this very truck. Sir, so thank you so much. If you can just tell us what happened last night. Yes. Uh, so what happened last night is that uh, you see this mountain here. There were several people, there were like a group of people who were throwing stones into our trucks. So as as I proceed driving, heading towards a middle back, they, they were burning the grass on the, on, on the tire road so that they hypnotize us that we stop. And unfortunately we couldn't, but they, we couldn't stop. They start firing some shots on the trucks, so we had to stop. I, I had to stop until... They, they shot my right-hand side tire of the truck, yes. And did you manage to see where, how many, oh, 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 these people, how many were they? Uh, I think if, if, if there were not nine, there were more, there were more than that. Yeah. yeah. And, and how did they ban it? Did they take you out of the, the truck itself and yeah, what, what happened? Yes, 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 yes. They took me out the way of the truck with the force. Uh, one of the guys were pointing me with the gun. And as he was pointing me with the gun, there was the other guy who, who, who threw who throw the petrol inside the truck. Yes. Yours is not the only truck that's been torched. Yeah. Did you manage to see what has happened to the other four trucks? Yes, yes, yes. Even those other four, four trucks were one was shot was shot uh, multiple times on on the passenger side and uh, and all of them were 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 were, 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 yeah. were do you know if there are injuries no, there's no there's no injuries all the drivers are safe we managed to escape all of all five of us managed to escape to escape this is not the first incident during this week. You possibly have heard that some of the trucks were also touched along the N3 in KwaZulu-Natal this past weekend. Are you perhaps making any connection between that incident and this one? Uh, I, like, I, I saw the pictures uh, or, or like on our WhatsApp groups of truck drivers and... Uh, and uh, some of our friends are letting us that we mustn't use entry in Fanrienang's Pass that there are multiple trucks were bent down as well. But with this one in N4, we didn't know about it. We, 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 just, we just found out uh, when we are here that... Uh, yeah. yeah we were... do, do, you, you, this is your job. Yeah, this is my job. I'm not too sure if this has happened before with you. Were you ever attacked before? It's my first time being attacked. Do you fear for your life after this? Yeah, I can say I do fear for my life after this. C come this side, sir. What, what do you suspect could have led to this particular incident? Uh, I think this thing has a, has a part of criminal element inside. Uh, reason being, uh, you know these guys of ADTF. Uh, when it's them who like, who, who like uh, attack... Who, come this side, please. Okay. When, when it's ADT, when it's ADTF guys who are attacking us, we know that they are not burning trucks, they are they are not they are not uh, abusing like they are not being physically yeah. Uh, yeah. Who are these ADTF guys? Uh, these guys who are against uh, foreign foreign driver foreign driver truck drivers. Yes. Are you a foreign national yourself? 
No, 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 I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. How do you then think this must be resolved? I'm just saying, even in the context of those people who are opposed to the employment of foreign nationals. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think this thing can be resolved. One thing that can be, uh, can be, like, I don't think it can be resolved because this thing, it, it's all, like, like I've said to you, it's, it's having the, the element of criminal inside. You know, criminals are taking advantage of, of what, what ADTF is doing. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. He is a truck driver and Masero. The gentleman doesn't even have shoes on him. He has even had to request the police to give him a jacket because he couldn't even take anything out of the car. Just want us to get closer to these other trucks. You can see the smoke, an indication that possibly, in fact, yes, I can see the fire. It's still um, on or raging. Uh, definitely not uh, exactly the same way it was when these trucks were charged. Now, the police obviously are saying that uh, they do not know the motive at this point in time. But interestingly, Masero, you would recall that this is happening as South Africa is commemorating the second anniversary of uh, those July 2021 riots that uh, happened in many parts of uh, the country. We don't know if there's a connection at all, but uh, it might just be a matter of coincidence, but it's a reality that we certainly cannot ignore. Uh, seems uh, uh, quite um, a, a scene there, Moloko, with the fire still raging. As you can see, Moloko and his camera colleague just giving us live visuals from the N4 highway in Mpumalanga, particularly at the Water Valboven. Uh, basically, of those five trucks, the fire still raging, smoke still coming uh, through the air, etc. And um, he also showed us uh, that uh, there are still firefighters on the scene as well as police. We'll catch up uh, with Moloko at one o'clock just to see if he's been able to speak to officials who are there investigating.